Hello and welcome back to Kickstart. In this video, we're gonna be veering away a little bit from our 2D and 3D aspect of Microbone, and we're gonna be focusing on the product list and creating a work order from that list as well. So strap yourselves in because I'm Ludwig from Microbone and we're gonna kickstart our list. So here we are back in our Kickstart project and we're gonna go straight to our Microbone toolbar on the left-hand side here and we're gonna go straight to our project tab. Within that, down the bottom of this list, we can see a product list. Now, in order for that product list to be accessible, we need to first have a project open, which is why, as you can see over here, I've got my Kickstart project as my current project. So, with that now open, I can go now to my product list, give them a click, and wait for my product list to appear. So here is my product list interface. Now you can see straight in the middle of my friend over here, we've got a list of products. And these products are here because I've already got products in my project. Now what project I'm in is also gonna be viewed on the left-hand side here. We can see that I'm in my Kickstart project and I'm in the kitchen as well. Now from here, we can also drop in cabinets into our product list. We don't have to draw in our cabinets in 3D or 2D in order to have them in our project. We can drop them in straight from here. So as you can see below my product list control panel, we've got our product library. So from here, we can drop in cabinets directly into our project. So to do that, we're going to click on the cabinet that we want to drop into our project with a left click, a right click, and we're gonna go add product to project. And here we have our product prompt. And similar to drawing our cabinets in 3D into our model space, we can adjust our cabinet through this interface as well. The same rules apply. We can obviously adjust the width, height, and depth. We can also add features such as applied panels. We can adjust our doors, our face options, everything like that, the same way that we would in our 3D product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And as you can see, there is now that product that I've added into this list. Now I can also access product prompts in existing cabinets through here as well. All I need to do is I need to left click on the product I would like to access, then right click, and the top option I have is show product prompts. And the product prompt for that cabinet is gonna pop up as well. Now there's other things that we can do with our products within our product list. As you can see, we can adjust things like our quantity, our width, our height, our depth, just to name a few. Very easy to adjust. All we have to do is double click in the field that we want to adjust, such as if I want to add a comment to my product, let's say to our one door base, give it a double click, and you can add in whatever comments you would like to add to this product. You can also adjust the width of the cabinet, not only through the product prompts, but also through this interface here by once again, clicking on the corresponding field. You can also change what specification groups you want for your cabinet. Just once again, double clicking on the field you'd like to adjust. And in this case, it's gonna give us a list of spec groups that we currently have available in this particular project. Now it's also through here that you can also add additional rooms and move products from one room to another. If you wanna add another room, all we need to do is go over to our folder on the left-hand side here with our project, give it a left click, a right click, and simply add new room. We can give this room a name. I'm just gonna call this one, say, bathroom. Because with every kitchen, we need a bathroom. And as you can see, with my bathroom highlighted, there's nothing in this list. And that's because this is a brand spanking new room. If I click back in kitchen, that list is now back because these are the cabinets in this room. Now, I can copy or move products from one room to another through here as well. All I need to do is click on the cabinet that I would like to copy, give it a left click, give it a right click, and we have these options over here. We can either move selection to another room or copy selection to another room. If I want to copy this cabinet from my kitchen to my bathroom, I'm going to click on my copy selection. It's going to ask me, well, which room do you want to copy it to? I've only got one other one except for kitchen, and that's going to be the bath to the room. Hit OK. And now if I go back to my room, I can see there's a cabinet lying in wait. If I click back in the project folder, it combines the cabinets in all my rooms that I have into one area. So I can check what products I have in this particular project if I need to. Now from here, we can also create what we call a work order. And a work order is what we're gonna be using to generate not only CNC files, but also labels and reports. To generate a work order, we're gonna veer our attention up to the top of our product list interface. We have this area over here called create work orders. And there's four different ways that we can create said work order. 
We can create a new one from scratch. We can edit an existing one if we've already created a work order. Since we haven't, we're not gonna be using this button in particular. We can create a work order from the entire list, i.e. everything that we see here, or we can create a work order from selected products. So if I only wanna create a work order for just cabinets that are in my kitchen, I can click on my kitchen, and now all the cabinets within my kitchen are visible, therefore I can use this option here. Or I can simply click and drag my mouse to highlight which particular cabinets I would like to create the work order from. Well, I like to do it for everything, so I'm gonna go over to my Kickstart project, so all my cabinets are readily visible, and I'm gonna go over to create work order from product list. Now from here, it's gonna bring up my work order creation interface. And it's from here that I can obviously select, well, what cabinets do I wanna put in this work order or not? As you can see, it's already given me what cabinets I've selected in this list. All the cabinets in my kitchen, all the cabinets in my bathroom. If I need to, you can see I've just created a little copy down here as well, and a little AutoCAD basics project for a previous video. But I can also select cabinets from another project and merge them into this work order as well. You don't have to have cabinets all within the one project. You can pick bits and bobs from other projects. Say there was a door damage from a previous job, needs to be recut. You can find that cabinet in that project here. Now up the top, we have our work order creation name. Now as you can see, it's automatically come up with my Kickstart project and my room that I'm in. This is because if I go over to my configure name, I can see that I already have my project name and my room name as a standard. Every time I create a work order, it's going to default to the project name and room name. I can add other parameters to this name convention as well. If I would like to add the date that I created this work order, I can scroll down, I can add a date, simply by clicking on him and simply clicking add variable. I can add a little space in there because I'm trying to be neat, hit okay, and now it's given me the date that I'm doing this in. And this is gonna be the same for every work order that you create. However, you can overwrite this by simply highlighting over this list and putting in whatever you would like. If I wanna take off that, if I wanna take out that date as a standard, I'm just gonna go back to my configure name and I'm just gonna highlight over that naming convention here and backspace over it. Hit okay. Since all the cameras I would like to create a work order from are ticked in this list, all I need to do now is simply hit process, which is just down over here. Once it finishes processing that work order, I'm going to get another pop-up saying that, yep, I've finished creating that work order. Here's a little bit of a synopsis of what I've done. What would you like to do next? Would you like to open that work order or not? I'm going to say yes. When I hit OK, it's going to take me to my processing center. And from here, I can now do things like generate reports, create labels, or even process to a CNC machine. And that is our product list in a nutshell. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. I hope it's been educational. As usual, I'm Luffy for Marco Volum. Take care of yourselves and have a wonderful day.